silver traded with the modest bullishness last week as expected and predicted in my weekly reviews last week and see it is fallen shy of 30 dollar levels which appears to be a critical resistance also the second observation here is the diminishing bullishness can we say that the prices are going to reverse from here or there is a possibility of a stronger breakout on the upside what is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading silver in the coming week we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end of this update i'll be sharing the trading levels and strategy watch till the end also this is a weekly review do watch the twice a day updates which i share for silver first with the asia session next with the european session us session thus subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification do join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support them let's start first on the weekly charts you can see silver after trading with divergence from the 20 period it is retraced it is in fact taken the support from the 20 period uh, 50 period moving average and now trying to recover if you connect the dots you will find silver is forming this nice flag now the highs for this flag are at around 30 50 31 dollar levels which should be a greater resistance for the coming week looking at the momentum here it appears silver has consolidated and looking forward to an upward move but it has to stay above 30 30 50 and 31 in order to confirm a breakout move which can take the prices towards 32 right now it appears that we may see it trading in this flag formation for a while that means even even if you see it hitting the highs at 30 50 31 you can see a possible reversal or a swing from those levels where it can again come down to the support zone now also on the downside 29 28 50 this has become a critical support for silver and only and only if you see it is staying below 28 50 any point of time you can say that now the bears are back in action and you can look forward to 28 dollar levels right now i can say after this stronger momentum it is just forming a nice flag moving averages are trading with divergence and bullishness the stock i stick after hitting double bottom it is rising looking upwards but look at MAC. see MACD, the rise the retracement the rise and it is willing to retrace it already crossed it has already crossed over and if you connect the dots you will find the lows are far below what it is doing right now the divergence was too much it is trying to converge and i think with couple of green candles it has shown a good conversion a possibility of further drop exists in silver rsi rising a uh, good sign for the bulls here on the rsi coming to daily if you look at daily charts the observation is same drop retracement lower highs drop bigger drop retracement again lower highs now when i say lower highs it has still a scope for a further move towards 31 this is the one point you should not ignore but i will say that 31 is going to be a very very good resistance and then 3150 i do not see it breaking 3150 and if it does break beyond this just stay long we are looking forward to 32.4 and in fact 35 levels in the near future now if you see the moving averages and the candles here you will find it is delivering higher lows higher highs hitting the lows we have seen it rising where are the highs now at around 3050 3075 zone for the coming week and in fact 31 hitting the highs it can also reverse and come down to 29 be watchful of this and see the moving averages have now started to look up first though i can say that this was the bearish cross the 20 and 50 period are yet to cross over also on the downside look at the support it has formed at 29 and thus this is important for silver to trade below 29 in order to stay bearish if there are bears here a stock stick has come out of the overbought zone which is also one of the signs for bearishness here but look at me if you observe MACD on the daily charts the drop the retracement the bigger drop the retracement now also look at the candle size it appears to have peaked here which calls for a further retracement and it can in fact form a double bottom before bouncing back or recovering now this one possibility you should not ignore because see uh, whenever you see such high candles you can say that the chances of retracement will increase though it is not the case always see this we have seen it trailing strong for weeks and then reversing and it has hit the highs at plus 50. now i do not see that case now this suggests that even if it tries to rise and hit 31 dollar levels i can say that there has to be a reversal till 3150 i will say silver will reverse sharp the higher it goes towards 30 30 50 31 31 50 till 31 50 i will say 
that the chances of a reversal will be very very high so you have to be very cautious it could be a swing full week as well rsi rising good sign for the bulls coming to 4 hour look at the 4 hour charts here drop retracement 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 and and a, a stronger recovery important thing to note here it is it is breached past the resistance zone see drop retracement sharper drop and a very strong recovery it is almost close at the top here now in the coming week is staying above 30 dollar levels just stay bullish we can look forward to 30 25 30 50 30 80 31 31 50 five major resistances and uh, beyond 31 50 it is not going to come back i do not see it hitting 31 50 that is my expectation now if you notice this the drop the retracement and if it reverses from the current levels where are the supports here 29 28 80 and then 2850 if these three levels are taken you can say now silver is about to crash more and you can look forward to 28 and 2750 levels see these are markets you have to keep a note of every move it can show you something and it can deliver something else now also if you look at the four hour charts uh, see this was the point from where the drop has started significantly and there was a pit stop here and thus 30 dollar levels definitely have become a critical milestone the stochastic overbought magd if you look at it has seen a good retracement it is willing to converge crossover and trade bullish see it has traded with a triple bottom here on the four hour charts then a stronger rise is seen and now retraced a crossover here is sign that possibly for next few candles you have to be watchful it can show you bullish momentum rsi is rising again good sign for the bulls coming to month on the monthly chart similar is the observation lower highs and if you draw a parallel to this lower lows which means it has a potential for 31 and yes hitting the highs at 31 it can retrace what it could try to deliver see i i do not see it closing in green that is my personal expectation i do not see it closing at highs that is my personal expectation expectation what i expect is for silver to deliver similar size of body when i say similar size of body look at the body size here 29 and 30 50 so one and a half dollars and if you connect 29 and one and a half dollars you will expect silver to close at around 2750 so this means that we are looking forward to a greater swing now why it could close in red and why i expect this if you look at the formation rise consolidation and retracement a stronger rise now series of three candles has to fulfill and thus possibility of a retracement or possibility of a red candle exists so in the coming week if you see silver trading below 29.50 and specifically below 29 uh, 20 and 29 these are the three levels below 29 i think we are looking forward to a greater correction towards 28.50 28 and in fact 27.50 is possible see when you can expect the highs you should also look at the lows which it can deliver remember it can trap you with the rise and it can keep you waiting for months by showing a stronger reversal thus you have to be watchful now moving averages are definitely trading bullish a stock i stick at highs here magdi here is what suggests that there is further bullish momentum left in silver look at the drop and look at the upward move it appears there is lot much of up move available for silver on the upside rsi is rising again a good sign for them now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to give you the trading levels and strategies so that you can all trade profitably and comfortably and before i provide you the trading levels and strategy if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram we trade diverse instruments including indices and commodities from across the globe for your queries you can connect with me over telegram or email the details are there in the channel and video description and those who had asked me to recommend a broker which offers a safe uh, environment which offers a, a transparent environment for you to trade which offers a safe free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description the details are there connect with me and join the broker now first let's talk about the levels to buy very clear you can buy here at 30 0, 5. expect 30 25 30 50 30 80 31 
and then 3150. Now till here I am I have written major major resistances because once it breaks past these levels it is going to move towards the next one and these are all critical critical I do not see silver to break beyond 3150 any point of time in in the next week at least beyond this because we are looking forward to 3240 and beyond 3240 the next targets are far above for silver in the next few weeks towards 35 this is one point you should not ignore on the downside where to sell ideally you can sell here at 2970 wait for 2950 first 2925 the second and then 29 at any point of time silver trading below 29 is a sign of further drop towards 2875 2850 and this time if it draws below 2850 you can expect it to move towards 28 and 2750 levels below 2750 the next is towards 2720 see these are markets if it can rise strong it can drop sharp as well you have to keep a note of the levels you have to trade as per the levels if it's a buying level just buy if it's a selling level just sell eliminate your bias and trade accordingly and do like share subscribe and comment friends join the free telegram channel for live operation join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort do watch the daily updates as well thank you have a great profitable trading week ahead and a happy weekend thank